Today I'm going to do what I consider to be the most scenic drive along the Texas coast, starting in the town of Palacios. And then I'm going to be heading south from here toward Mustang Island, basically following Highway 35. And I do recommend taking the Business 35 when you enter uh, these towns. So the water here is basically an extension of Matagorda Bay that you see here. So there are multiple parks uh, around town here in Palacios where you can go fishing or just go for a walk. Very lovely. Lots of pelicans and seagulls flying around here. So Palacios does have a bit of a downtown area, just a couple blocks from the bay. And one of the most striking buildings is the one that houses the City by the Sea Museum. Looks like a cool place to visit. So fronting the bay area here in Palacios, this old historic hotel called the Luther Hotel. Incredible building. Wow. This I did not expect to see. It even says it's open. Just incredible. So, it says the old Palacios Hotel built in 1903. It was a resort for investors from the north buying orchards, land on the coast, had a famous dining room and a permanent orchestra, and it's withstood multiple hurricanes. This hotel is truly a Texas treasure, and really it should be more famous than it is. I don't think there's a hotel like this anywhere else on the Gulf Coast. It's like a relic of the past. They're still improving it at this time. A lot of work's being put into it as we speak. So this is just another of multiple parks that go around the perimeter of this lovely coastal town. So I'm off the beaten path just a little bit here to spend the night in a little community called Magnolia Beach. There's a big strip here where there's free camping. Looks like plenty of room. I'm just going to park here and sleep in my truck. But it's a lovely peaceful spot. The moon's out tonight. You can see it lighten up the water. It is just lovely. So continue the journey down the Texas coast tomorrow, starting in the small town of Port Lavaca. So this morning I'm starting off here at Lighthouse Beach in Port Lavaca. Keep in mind this is bay water, you're not in the open ocean here. But it is a nice pleasant beach area be a good place to uh, camp out if you want to 
have a picnic, go fishing, go for a walk. It does cost $5 per vehicle according to the sign. So now I'm here at the Half Moon Reef Lighthouse. This was constructed in 1858 in the shape of a hexagon. And this is originally located in Matagorda Bay. This lighthouse remained in service until 1943 and moved here later in 1979. Definitely worth checking out is the old historic Main Street here in Port Lavaca. This old theater is gorgeous. Welcome to the cute little town of Fulton, Texas. One thing you're going to want to see in the town of Fulton is this gorgeous mansion. Probably one of the most popular historic mansions in Texas. Right on the bay. So this is down in the basement of the house, in the butler's pantry. And here's the laundry room. So now I'm entering the library. Beautiful room. So they conveniently had a toilet right next to the bathtub. So you could have fun hanging out together. So here's one of the guest bedrooms. And here is the master bedroom. So this is one of the guest bedrooms that allows you to see how this building was constructed and also gives you a clue as to how it's been able to survive multiple hurricanes over the years. They don't make them like this anymore. So driving down the road here between Fulton and Rockport and I was pretty fascinated by the look of the trees here. You can see what years of hurricanes can do. See how the wind has sculpted the tops of the trees here. That is pretty cool. So I'm now in the town of Rockport at the Hoops House, built in the year 1890. And I'm about to visit the Texas Maritime Museum, which is just right around the corner here. And I just happened to see this beauty on the side of the road.
From the third level, you can walk outside and get a great view of the bay. There's some cool exhibits outside as well. Made it to Port Aransas Beach. Now one thing to keep in mind when you're driving through Fulton and Rockport and places like that, that's not open ocean water. That you are on the bay. So don't expect big waves and sandy beaches in those areas. But once you get to Port Aransas, this is the real deal, folks. So Port Aransas is a large tourist town along the beach here and has a number of spacious modern hotels. But if you're looking for something a little more historic, the Tarpon Inn here kind of has that retro vibe. I'm near the end of my journey at Mustang Island State Park. Beautiful beach. more sand on the beach than you see further north along the Texas coast. So relaxing and peaceful out here at Mustang Island. Gorgeous beach, nice waves. I'm out here in late December, folks, standing in the water. A little bit cool, but not too bad, actually. I'm about almost knee deep right now. So from what I gather here at Mustang Island, this is not the party crowd. If you want a quiet beach to bring the family, this just might be the place for you. 